G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. It is such a beautiful day again today. We have the entire beach to ourselves for the second day in a row. That is awesome. I have high hopes of what we'll find today. Uh, comment down below what you think we'll find in today's episode, what the best shell is that we're gonna find. And let's see if you guys are correct. I think we're going to find a nice sized baler. Well, not a baler, but a volu. Let's see what we can do. First steps into the pretty warm water. It's clear again today. But it's actually pretty warm. I have already been for a swim today and it's perfect out there. Let's see what we can find. I would also love to find a captain comb. I haven't found one in a couple of weeks, I'd say. Ugh. Looks like the hairy triton's gone that we found yesterday. The shell of the day is gonna hopefully be a nice bonnet. It looks good. Perfect. That is like the just dream condition Scotch bonnet shell. Wow. It's just perfect all around. Perfect color, perfect tip, perfect lip, everything. That's pretty sweet, dude. You know it's gonna be a good day when the first shell you find is a bonnet shell. I see a blue cowrie. Really nice looking one too. Perfect. That is very nice. What about under all this stuff? Anything? Never had much luck digging up anything. But hey, it's always worth a shot. Not much. Really nice blue cowrie though. color and uniqueness of this like oh, I don't even know what it is I'm just gonna call it a scallop of some sort like an oyster it's just so cool looking comment down below if you guys know what it's called I've only ever seen a few is that a bit of coral? yes it is oh, I just dropped it I collect these pieces this is actually coral very very thin very gentle pieces Pretty cool, two interesting pieces. Got a nice little shell pile down here. What originally brought it uh, to my attention was this bonnet stuck down here. And that's also perfect. Very nice. It's a lot of broken stuff though. All this here has to pass all those rocks over there. But there still looks like a lot of interesting little honey holes like this one here. You never know what you can pull up, honestly. Like, is that a shuttle? Is it? No, not a shuttle. Piece of a nice Triton. Broken there. There's not much else. Guys, look at the size of that urchin. Holy cow. Oh! Whoa! That's huge! What the heck happened to the bottom of it? What the heck is that? That's giant. Whoa. That's wild. It sits perfectly like that. What just happened? Oh, I haven't found anything in like an hour. It's, it's been crazy. What the heck? Would you look at that? Wow, I found one of these once. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure it's smaller than this, but it has a tiny hole at the bottom of it. Oh, there's a little uh, fella in there. Hold on a sec. And I found it over at another beach. But holy moly, that is beautiful. Wow, I never ever find urchins. I've only ever found like, I think three or four urchins. So that's incredible. That is huge. Real shame about the bottom of it. But hey, I'll absolutely take it. That's just incredible. Wow, you guys. That is just surprised the heck out of me. I, I'm right at the end of the beach. I was just getting finished up and then boom. Wow, that is giant. Check that one out. I love it. Oh man, look at that massive break. That is just unreal. Woo. 
pretty stoked on that, ladies and gentlemen. Drop a like for that find right there. <laughs> oh. Guys, I just can't believe that I actually found this. Like, I found one once before. It was maybe an inch smaller. And that was oh, six, seven months ago. And this is just incredible to find. No cracks, nothing. The only problem is that giant hole there, but I don't care. It's a giant sea urchin. That is awesome. Look at it compared to my head. Look at the size of that. It is huge. I am super, super psyched. You guys got to drop a like on this video. I was not expecting this at all. I'm not done with the beach yet, so I'm going to carry it all the way home. Uh, well, while I go looking for more shells, but I am thrilled. That is just awesome. I think it's going to be a good bonnet day because I've been here for about 15 minutes and this is the third bonnet I've found. And they've all been whole. So, that's nice as. I wonder how many bonnet shells we can find today. I think we're going to find eight bonnet shells. That's a lot, but I think it's possible. We're already like 40% there. Not much in there. Clandestine out of this big pile here. It's real nice on top. Stay to the end of the video to uh, take a closer look at that with my phone because the GoPro is focusing onto it. That was the first little thing that I picked up. <sighs> Not much else in that pile though. It's relatively rough over this side. Oh, gotta go. <laughs> cherry right there that looks beauty it is wow that's like 10 out of 10 pretty sure this is called a cipre carnola is its scientific name got a crown cone there as well pretty neat nice little finds take a closer look at them Got one really nice one there, crown cone. Got a quite a lot of those today. And cherry carry. Awesome. Those in the back. Let's take a look around. of the beach right here now and I see a giant Hebrew cone that thing is mammoth wow that is epic that's one of the biggest ones I've ever found how good is that it's a bit rough condition this is all worn down a bit but hey that color on top is just awesome I love that let's go for a little walk guys See a cowrie, no, just a pair of broken teeth down there. I've been trying to get used to lifting up more rock, seeing what I can find underneath the rock. Don't see anything under there. Let's check out what's over here, actually. This little pile. It's a 
big tourist. Looks old. Dang, that's really old. It's really long. That's really strange looking. I think I might keep it because they're pretty hard to find here. Yeah, I'll keep it. Second Hebrew cone of the day, and it's empty. Wow. Rarely ever find Hebrew cones. That one's got a sick pattern as well. It's not normal at all. How cool is that? Oh, is that a big bonnet? Might be. Oh, it's broken. Oh, maybe. Yeah, it's broken. That's for sure. It's been demolished by a rock. But if you sort of set it up like that, it's still pretty neat. I guess it's kind of cool because you can actually see inside of it. It's like a peek inside. I like that, a window into its eye. Haven't found too much yet, but hey, we're able to come out here every day. So all the shells are just an extra bonus. Whoa, 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 that's be oh man, shame about that hole. That one is really nice. Hey, yeah, you guys have a better shot of that. That's real nice. Definitely a keeper. It's got, I think, yeah, definitely a predator hole or three. <laughs> it's got three predator holes. But hey, I'll take it. That is called a crown cone. Yeah, is that a cherry or just a rock shell? That is a rock shell. There's that another crown cone. That is. That's really bashed up though. It's missing the whole top. It's a shame. I think I might leave that one. Look at this. We got a snake head. That's fully out. It's got his antennas out and everything. Pretty cool. pieces like that that are really freaky like that like this piece I'll keep Very subtle colors. 
I love walking around this little area, it's like a giant reef. It gets exposed. Whoa, it's picture there. I'll try to find some coral for you guys. Living coral. Usually it's everywhere. Here is everything that we found today. We had an incredible day. It was a bit slow off to the start, but towards the end, we got absolutely blessed with this giant sea urchin find. I am thrilled with it. I carried it the whole way back from there, carrying it like that, making sure it's safe, never to drop it. I am so scared of breaking that. I just want to get it home and into the collection. But other than that giant sea urchin, we did find a nice little deer cowrie. Just needs a little bit of a clean up, but that's all right, it's still super shiny. Uh, what else do we get? That clandestine there, right at the start. See, it's really nice lines on top. Awesome condition. What else did we find? We found a really cool looking Hebrew cone. Actually found two. Where's the other boy? Where did I put you? There you are. It's got a really cool pattern. I like that pattern on the inside. A really, really weird scallop and another bit of coral. I love these bits of coral, they're so cool to me. I call them lightning coral. But yeah, other than that guys, we had an excellent day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out shellcave.com and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support.